Welcome back, friends and frenemies, to another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, where we take public domain Japanese comics, English size them, and then make funny noises. I'm your host, translator, sound engineer, director, and eighth lucky god, Nicholas Tyson. Today, we have another exciting installment of Kabashima and Oda's Show Chan Adventures. In our previous episode, Squirrel and Show went wandering in the woods where they found a shiny castle. And that's where a number of murders ensued. <laughs> you can check out that episode on this channel, but today we have... Takarafune, the treasure ship. Hopefully this time things will turn out a little bit better than they did for those centaurs. Anyway, let's get started. The sound of waves could be heard crashing through a break in the trees along a shore still shrouded in mist. What a great way to start the morning, don't you think? It really is. Squirrel and Show climbed up a dune where fragrant flowers were blooming in the sand. Man, they smell amazing. A giant crag rose in the distance, its color like that of agate. Yeah, agate. That. <laughs> so, agate is actually really beautifully multicolored and comes in all types. That's just brown. You can see the picture. That's just brown. <laughs> Looks like a painting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Standing in its shadow, they could hear the beautiful sound of a biwa. Yeah, the beautiful sound of a biwa. Oh, jeez. That sounds like someone playing the biwa. Yeah, sure does. Squirrel and Show followed the sound as they made their way around the crag. A ship the color of gold, sails raised, was anchored near the shoreline. What a spectacular boat! Hey! <laughs> no doubt this was where the sound was coming from. This can't be real! Might be coming from inside that boat. The pair made a brisk pace down till they reached the edge of the embankment. There, they saw a man with a tall head and another with a big belly. Whoa! <laughs> Show says this all the time. Ho ho! <laughs> He's got a head just like a daikon! Show asked if they were the seven lucky gods and if this was their treasure ship. You must be Bishamonten. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I recognized that face. The people on board were enjoying themselves, and they invited Squirrel and Show to join them. Won't you stay for a while? I love your playing. You're really good. They asked if he'd like to join them on their journey to share their treasures. You should come with us. And he hadn't even finished talking when our companions immediately agreed. This is a rare opportunity. <laughs> We'd love to come with. And while they were talking, the boat raised anchor and slipped away all on its own. What an unusual boat! A sapphire wave rolled against the ship and poured water over the bow. Maybe you could play us a song on your biwa, Benten. What should I play? After some time, they spotted land far off in the distance. Hey, I can see a hill! As they approached the island, they saw there a lavish port. What a lovely harbor town! Magnificent houses lined the coast, and behind them, a range of mountains. So many amazing... Sorry, that squirrel's line. So many amazing homes! <laughs> Just sticking to the production values you guys expect from me. Yet the city felt desolate, and the people there were profoundly unhappy. It must be so boring having to live here. Nobody would even talk to me. They all seemed so aloof. The seven lucky gods raised sail and left the port without sharing any of their treasure. That place was the pits. The next port they came to was particularly lively. The ship came to a stop, and along the shore were a number of workshops and stores. Looks like this place is mostly shops and whatnot. 
they were surprised to find that the people of the town were all fighting with one another. Look, Shell, there's not a single one of them not in some kind of dust-up. They all seem so selfish. So the seven lucky gods raised sail and left the port without sharing any of their treasure. They're all like wolves at each other's throats there. Um, I, I just kind of guessed that it's Daikokuten talking here because... I mean, it may have been Ben 10. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's not exactly clear. The next port they came to looked completely run down. Man, what a dirty place this is. The houses that stood near the coast were all dingy, and the people lived there in extreme poverty. Why did... So, in my script, I have this line ascribed to Squirrel, but it's not actually Squirrel's show. Man, everyone here is dirt poor! But the people of the town relied on each other to satisfy their needs. It's so peaceful here. The people who live here keep beauty in their hearts. Oh, <laughs> The seven lucky gods cheerfully shared their treasures with all the people there. We should give our treasure to these fine people. And the people of the town turned that treasure into capital. And they all worked together. Yes, they turned into good capitalists. <laughs> we need to work together for the good of all. Just like a capitalist, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> After several years, their poor town had grown into the most prosperous in the land. Come to think of it, we never could have done so well so quickly if we'd all been out for ourselves. Yeah, that's true. Maybe you should tell the capitalists that. That's when Squirrel and Show woke up and were so grateful that their first dream of the year was of the treasure ship. Whoa, what a great first dream! I got a treasure ship right over here! So, what Squirrel is referring to um, is probably a print of the treasure ship where there's this sort of like old timey traditional thing that if you put a um a nishikie print or a block print of the treasure ship and the seven lucky gods underneath your pillow that's supposed to make you have a good first dream of the year anyway it's a thing oh and this last one's a poem so i'll read it in the japanese first it goes nakakyo no to no nafuri no mina mezame nami nori fune no oto no yoki kana and that translates to something like, uh, how great the sound of the ship mounting the waves as all those who sleep in the eternal world awaken. Oh, it's one of those poems where it's a shame if you read it backwards. And indeed it is. So if you if you can read that um, katakana, if you read it backwards, um, it will read the same as if it's forwards. <coughs> anyway, that's all for this week's episode. Excuse me. If you enjoyed this video, it's a bit of a short one today, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you really liked this video, you can always support my work on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash it came from the manga, all one word. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links for which can be found in the description below. I will be back next week with another episode of Manga Trans Dub Theater. But until then, do not let the man get you down. Bye. Bye.